I want to squeeze in Steve Bulger, though, if I can, with Kids United. And there is a $30,000 downtown startup challenge that is going on out there. Steve, good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for having me in. So what do we know? Um, you want to grab him on the phone? Yeah, you could do that. So you guys are competing for this uh, for this thirty thousand. So so I am personally uh, with a business partner of mine, J.P. Kidwell, okay. a couple of nonprofit guys, giving a shot at the in the for profit world. All right, um, and we've got a business concept that uh, we've thrown at this downtown startup challenge. Um, Complement the community foundation. Um, we're proposing the region's first food hall. Um, so an opportunity to bring together two of the things that are the that maybe we're best known for in the Mohawk Valley, yeah. um, our culture and our culinary. Mm-hmm. Um, we issued a survey online for the first time um, last week, and we had over 1,200 responses wow. in the first three days. When you say food hall, is this um, are you picking up the the culinary building at the state fair and plopping it into downtown Utica? Imagine that, just yeah. higher end. Oh, um, yeah. and and when we've nothing really? against the state fair folks, but uh, we're definitely Definitely hoping for some wine slushies and a beer garden. Okay, all right. um, but uh, imagine that, and some of I think they have that there in the in the culinary. They, they uh, do, building, they but, do. We're going to steal the good yeah, ideas. Good. Um, but with with that, we've looked at some of the downtown revitalization across the country with some with some cities much like Utica, um, and and it's been amazing how food halls have helped uh, reinvigorate and and we know with food at the center of that. One who, ex- who goes in, by the way? Is it uh, is it area restaurants could actually Absolutely. rent space? Yeah, and and that's okay. what we've seen uh, with one model out of Portland. Um, where they Portland, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, okay. where they had food pods mm-hmm. all throughout the city that really were only able to provide um, uh, food to their customers about nine months out of the year. The other three months, weather <laughs> didn't permit. Yeah. Very similar to what we have with with food trucks here in the Mohawk Valley. Also, folks um, that uh, restaurants, the demand from the surveys are saying they would love to see some of the popular food options that they can get in New Hartford, Rome, Whitesboro. They would love to see come to downtown Utica within uh, traveling distance. Uh, to their uh, on their lunch break, yeah, they only yeah. have for half an hour. Where would you want to? Do you have any ideas as to where you would want to place this? So, in order to uh, with the challenge, um, we have to be located downtown, um, right. in downtown Utica. We have been looking at a couple of sites. Um, I don't want to give away any of those sites right now because we are in a competition. Right, um, but right. we would invite. And, and after the survey came out, we have had some folks say, "Please come check out our space. Would love to have this concept, and we would invite people to reach out yeah. to us if possible." I, I like the idea a lot. Think of a spot. Downtown Utica. Put it where they were going to put the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be like tenants there. Happening. There, yeah. might, there might be room. Uh, <laughs> there might be room. Ryan Miller is with Thinkubator, uh, which is a program through Mohawk Valley Community College. Ryan, good morning. Morning, Bill. How's it going? Good. So you're a part of this, and tell us how you fit into all of this. Yeah, we're partnering with the Community Foundation on this. Got it. You know, okay. They're they're, um, they're really interested in downtown revitalization, and so our role in this is to kind of, you know, a lot of people have uh, great ideas for businesses, but don't really know how to get from point A to point B. So yeah. our job in this is to kind of put them through an, an eight-week boot camp to try to get them to understand the things that go into making a business successful. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, along the way, we had, I think we had 90 applicants for the challenge, 92 applicants. Wow. Um, we accepted just over 50. And, you know, every week there are folks that do the exercises that we put them through or things that they're discovering that they're like, ah, maybe this isn't the right place or the right time for me. And so that's got some value uh, in and of itself. Yeah. And um, are you, uh, I I guess I can't, so you're not affiliated uh, with Kids Oneida. Right. Uh, You're actually part of the judging process. Have the, have you already selected Kids Oneida? No, not not part of the no, so, so no, Kids no. Oneida is my day job. Got it, right? And, and that's for Steve and and, ah, and okay. so I'm I'm uh, I'm making the pitch with my business partners, two Understood. nonprofit guys going in the for profit to try. Uh, okay, in all addition. right. Uh, and Ryan, what uh, so how how many, what are we down to in terms of finalists at this point? Yeah, right now I I think we started with fifty five. I think right now we just broke forty. Wow. So we've had uh, 10 or 12 teams in three weeks that have said, you know, not not right now. Uh, we've got, this is what, week four, Steve, I think? Yeah, yeah we're going into Coming week up. four already. So we're, we're, at the, we're nearing the halfway point, and, and where it's going to really get interesting is, uh, is this week and then the next couple of weeks, because this week we're really going to have them focus on locations. Okay. Um, and then really getting a handle on finances and startup costs in the next couple of weeks, and that is something that, you know, a lot of folks will go, oh, my God, I had no idea the opening of this business was, was going to be an 80000 yeah, endeavor, yeah. right? You know, because right. the idea is that um, the foundation's putting up thirty k, which is a ton of money, but yeah. that's designed to be 
rocket fuel, not to be the you know uh, the foundation of any, that. Anybody who's ever been in business, uh, thirty thousand dollars is a lot of money, and it ain't. Exactly. Um, yeah. <laughs> so take that for Goes what it's quick. Worth. Right. Yeah, it right. can be gone very, very quickly. But this is interesting in that uh, your concept would be really um, advertising. You'd have to you have to promote this because obviously the only way these restaurants, many of these restaurants have jumped in on things and then they get there and there's nobody there. They don't right. stay. Right. So you got to have people. Yeah. And you got to have the facility and all the things that they would uh, they would need. What kind of investment do you think you need for something like this? So that's that's what we're working through right now. But yeah. but the um, would you provide kitchen? Uh, would they yeah, bring shared, their own shared, shared space? But but Got really, the, the concept is the the restaurant owners would have um, the ability to lease out a smaller <clears throat> portion of space because it's community seating. There's mm-hmm. there's restrooms provided by the food hall. We as the landlord would provide that. So if they're looking to renovate their own space in downtown Utica, they don't have to work. That automatically comes out of their square footage, right. um, and it's a reduced cost. You for know, them. at the state fair, they compete mm-hmm. and. Fight for those spaces, uh, whether it's the space in the culinary building right. or I mean, there's a reason why you go every year and the and the same restaurant has the same shack. Mm-hmm. Um, they invest in that. They, it's their spot That's right. and they fight for it. Right. Um, and they hold on to it. And you'd be. Hoping the same thing would happen. Absolutely, here. we think the same thing can happen in downtown. So you could have Utica. a Giorgio's downtown Utica uh, without the food truck. That would be a great concept. I like this, Ryan. Pick them. <laughs> Name it now, judge, Ryan. We well, appreciate that. Very okay, important. understood. All right, I, I certainly understand that. But uh, uh, if there, uh, so how do we follow the process, Ryan? Is there anything sure. online that people can can yeah give you input? Can follow, uh, you can follow the, uh, the found uh, the community foundation Facebook page, Thank You Bader's Facebook page. Right. Um, but and and we're also you know a lot of the team, some of the teams are actually doing some of their own social media and and uh, and documenting the process as well and. Uh, You'll probably see a ton of surveys out there. One of the things we're asking people to do is figure out, is there a market for this business downtown? So a lot of people are, are asking for people's feedback on, on their ideas. So social media is definitely the best way to follow this. And we're going to have um, the final is going to be, uh, don't quote me on the date, I think it's October 4th. It's the first Wednesday in October. All right. Uh, it's going to be the final at Think, and that's open to the public, and you'll figure out who gets the $30,000 right. that night. Boy, I wish you were working on this hospital thing. You yeah, I was going to say, together. Ryan, is uh, MVHS one of the contestants for the $30,000? <laughs> and oh, by the See, way... Like, every time yeah. I talk to you guys, there's a question about this. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's because I've got Mike on the line from No Food Hall Downtown. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Bill, if, right, I, if, I, can make a, if I can make a shameless plug, our yes. survey is available, and we did hit, after three days online, we hit 1,250 surveys. Wow. The outpouring of support wow. has been phenomenal. Um, so if you go to the Downtown Utica Facebook page, yep. they've, they've pushed it there. It's a quick and easy way to follow it. Or to get in touch with us, the root seller Utica at gmail.com. The name of the food hall would be the root seller. Okay. Um, nice. That's a way to get, we're hoping to get 1,500 surveys. So that way we have a real grassroots. Find out from the community exactly what they want. Tell us. Do you love the idea? you hate the idea? We want to hear all right. it all. All right. I like it. Can I throw one more thing out there just for folks that are listening? You know, Surely. The idea yep. is that, you know, obviously one team is going to take home 30 k uh, but we've got a lot of great um, projects that are on the burner here. And so I really think that regardless, there's going to be about, you know, between four and a half a dozen businesses. They're going to open their doors anyway as a result of this challenge, whether they get wow. the money or not. And that's okay. a win for downtown. No doubt about that's it. That's awesome. Uh, that, is, uh, that is a positive. All right, Ryan, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. And thanks how do a they, lot, guys. Good to do, talk to you. How do they reach out to, to you guys if someone had uh, – because you're there oh. to help. Uh, and if someone needed yeah. help, how do they reach out to you? Uh, just just uh, use the Google machine. We know Google Thinkubator Utica or uh, Ryan Miller Utica, and uh, you can book a one-on-one session with us, bounce your ideas off of us. Right. Uh, but the web is definitely the way to get us. Got it. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, guys. Right. Have a good uh, day. Steve, definitely uh, intriguing. Thank you. We appreciate um, it. Where you're was easily I... intrigued by food. <laughs> well, I got I to gotta tell you. Will there be carbs at this food? There is a place in uh, New York City near Grand Central mm-hmm. exactly. uh, that does this. And uh, I have to tell you, we were just in there a month ago. Are you familiar with that location? i uh, familiar with a few of them. There, Italy yep. is one, another one in New York City. Yep. That... Grand Central, it is so packed 
that you we walked out. Um, there's an Apple store in there now. It is just unbelievable. That's crazy. Uh, no, not the Grand Central. There's a you're thinking near Grand Central. There okay. is a food hall, mm-hmm. and it is exactly what you're proposing Absolutely. here. Absolutely, and it's everything uh, from uh, international cuisine, and it's booth after booth after booth. I use the state fair as something uh, that that would be similar, but this is probably even more so. Right. And if you could have a tenth of the success that they've had, uh, you'd be, be really uh, it'd be incredible. So that's that's what we're hoping for. Yeah. And, and you look across the city, Reading Terminal Market in Philadelphia comes up a lot um, as as another comparison. There there's a number of them that are really taking off, and and we're hoping, like you said, if we could have a portion of the success, yeah, yeah. I think it would be amazing for downtown. All right, Steve, good job. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you.